there is a communication process happening whether you realize it or not between your higher self and your lower self you see we've built up this personality right the mind itself is not you right yes you have a brain right that is more like a, a processor or computer that digests information and then we confuse the brain with the mind they are two separate things now, your consciousness, right, is who you truly are, or awareness is who we truly are. Call it a soul, call it a spirit, get religious on me and want to talk about Jesus or Yeshua, or Yeshua, Buddha, you know, Krishna, Shiva. It does not matter. I love all. And I just really want you to understand that the mind is not who we are, the body is not who we are, our thoughts are not who we are. Then who are we? Are we? to believe that we are just this construct, just this 3D meat suit, or just the lower self, or just the higher self, or are we all of it? We are experiencing everything simultaneously, living a multi multi-dimensional life as a spirit inhabited with what we call a human body. This human body will go back into the earth, grow into what we call plants, trees, bugs, insects, decompose into that, and experience another round of it. Whether you believe in reincarnation, whether you believe in life after death, that does not matter. The proof is that your higher self is 10 steps ahead of you because I want you to think about everything magical in your life. All of your relationships, your children, all of the beauty, the glory, your job, the destination. When you felt just so good, when you felt so fulfilled to that deeper part of yourself, did you really do it? You, the meat suit, the body, the human, did you really do that? Or was there an opportunity that you said yes to, that you were nervous about, afraid to go through the door, and you went through it anyway, and now the glory, now the upgrade, now the energy came through you, not before. You see, you were the one that had to do it. Yes, however, that was a, a mouse, right, with a little string and a little piece of cheese in front of you. Who's the person holding the stick with the little cheese dangling in front of you? <laughs> Who gets the credit here, you see? Sure, you're moving your little mouse feet into the, the direction that you need to go. However, the cheese is the thing that is really guiding you. So the person holding that cheese is you, is your higher self, right? making you go in the exact right direction. And guess what? It's uncomfortable, right? The low, lower self, the ego wants to kick and scream and just go, oh, this is uncomfortable and this is not how I want it to be. And this isn't beautiful enough or it's not glorious enough or righteous enough or powerful enough or this or that. Guess what? No, it's exactly how it's supposed to be. It's all perfect, and this isn't some new age spiritual teaching. Do not project your energy onto me and think that I'm some new age teacher or into spirituality into this degree. No, this is life that we're talking about. We all experience it regardless of your belief system, right? We are all here to perceive beyond that illusion and go into oneness whether you realize it or not. And the question is, are you going in a circle, right, with that cheese? just right in front of your face? Or are you actually getting through this maze, right? Going through the obstacles, getting the upgrades, having the achievements, going through the rounds and going, yes, I feel this upgrade. I feel in tune with my, you know, dharma, what I'm really supposed to do. And I'm not caught in that wheel anymore and just feeling like a hamster all the time. You see, we are so much more than just that hamster going around in the cage through our jobs, paying rent, and going through the motions, getting through your mortgage, getting through the next day. I mean, you are infinite. You are immortal. When are we going to start acting like it? When are we going to start feeling it? When are we going to start owning it and manifesting it into a fifth dimensional reality instead of playing this 3D game all the time? You see? You are capable of it. You just have to believe because the lower self, when you let go of the reins and you turn this into more of a dance, right? That's when it becomes magical. But if you're resisting and clutching on and creating all of this yourself, you have no one but to blame because you're taking full responsibility and you're not able to get to that upgrade and it all comes back down to free will. I have no judgments on who you are, what you're doing, what you think you are. I only want you to have the results. I only want you to experience results. I only want you to have the most highest vibration in contact with who you are as a person right now in this most infinite life that we call earth. That's it. 
I want you to have all of it. I want you to feel it. I want you to experience it. I want you to go through it with grace, gratitude, humility, and finally achieve oneness and your heart's greatest desires. That's what this is all about. We're shifting from the mind, the logical, right? The linear perspective of time, going from A to B to recognize that there is no time. You're, you're in this omnipresence. You're in this oneness energy. All you have to do is tap into it. If you call that meditation, awesome. If you call it kundalini, awesome. If you call it some dance or some Sufi you know, religion or some Jesus uh, religion in a church, I don't care what it looks like. I want you to have the results. I want you to experience that higher consciousness. I want you to go in tune with the most highest high that you can possibly fathom and bring it right here to planet Earth so all of us can share it and experience it and love it together. That's what we're doing. That's what we're here to do. And your lower self is the obstacle. You are the obstacle yourself, your ego, and that personality that you identified with, and the spiritual trap, the religion trap. All of these are trapped. When if you think you know, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Every single time, I thought I got closer to God, or I thought I got closer to something that was beautiful, or had a you know healthy family, or actually getting something that I truly wanted, the universe was right there to take the rug right underneath my feet. You mm -hmm. see? My higher self pulled that rug and you can blame and you can say the universe isn't what I want and this place isn't great and you can turn to a different religion and blame that one <laughs> or have another spiritual practice just to do that all over again as well and blame that spiritual practice even though it's the same old thing whether you want to call it karma whether you want to call it a desire system whether you don't even believe in karma all of this does not matter anymore because we are now experiencing this oneness we have experienced a new higher frequency, a caliber, a new level of the game, and we cannot play at that old level that we were playing at in the past. It's not going to work. You see, we are in a new density. We are in a new vibration. That's why it's literally called new earth. Why are we going to do the same old thing and expect different results? You see, and this is the big construct of humanity. It's not going to happen overnight. 5D is not about you snapping your fingers and ascending to the fifth dimension and hanging out with ascended masters and you know, just hanging up in the clouds, looking down on people on earth, sending them unconditional love. No, it's omnipresence. It's the ability to perceive through the darkness, tap into that oneness, and achieve higher consciousness within your heart and let it spread like wildfire through every human being so we can finally manifest positivity, you see, compassion. We're wired for empathy. We're not wired for this poverty, you know, stepping on our brothers and sisters back just to get ahead in the world. Hustle culture. I got to make money off you. You got to buy my this or go to my resource or my guide or download this or sell this. We live in a consumer world that is our consuming our souls right in front of us. Celebrities selling their souls, contributing to all of this, profiting from addiction. Society does not want you to talk about your addictions or your traumas or what your spiritual path is or what you're doing to relieve all this. They want you to stay in your addiction, stay in your trauma, stay in all of those things so we can profit from it, you see? And the people that justify it with Pepsi or Coca-Cola or TV or, you know, these are all addictions too, right? <laughs> just because I say the word addiction doesn't mean it's just heroin or cocaine or these horrible quote-unquote things that you think it is. Nothing is horrible. That is just your duality perception of programming. Everything is oneness. Everything is love. Those people need to do those things to feel better, just like you need to shop or scroll on your phone to feel better. You see, it's all the same thing. So when are we going to start loving? When are we going to start practicing what it means to have unconditional love in our hearts and ascend to this higher frequency, whether you call it the fifth dimension or the sixth or the seventh, I don't even care anymore. I want you to experience something different, something new, something exciting, something that's going to get that kundalini flowing within you and make you feel alive. Experience your truth, not my truth, your truth. It doesn't have to be exactly the way that I experienced it. In fact, it's not going to be exactly how I experienced it. It's going to be completely unique to you. Everything that I'm doing in my life is to be 
extremely transparent to you to uh, just show you by authenticity. I'm not here to tell anybody anything. I'm not here to teach. I'm not here to do anything but experience higher consciousness. In the I am, I am experiencing just that. So everything beyond that is a projection from your perspective. And I have nothing but unconditional love for you because we're all doing that. You see, we're all on this samsara. We're all going up to this hike at the top of the hill together. The question is, are we going to do it holding, right? Holding hands and just singing and dancing along the way? Are we going to kick each other and say that this is the better route? This trail is the one right here. It's the best. It's the easiest trail. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. No. I'm done with the easy. I'm done playing nice. I'm done you walking all over me for you actually taking my kindness for weakness. No, I'm here to live the heart and love everybody. It's just that simple. Let that be your guide. Let love be your guide. We don't need to get into spirituality. We don't need to get into religion. We don't need to get into anything except for unconditional love frequency and experiencing that to the best of our ability. Yes, we're human. Yes, the lower self can only go so far. But your higher self is always there with you, guiding you every step of the way. You literally can't be without it. So let's practice gratitude because that is the exact place where we can get beyond neutrality, get out of those lower vibrational dependencies, and step into higher consciousness. All right. Until next time, guys, if you want to take your journey to the next level, get over to Patreon. Join us on Backstage. Download the new app. There's a fantastic way to get around the censorship. Watch all of the videos that I put out, all of my content before it goes to social media, before it comes right here to YouTube. Listen to the podcast. Listen to everything backstage. Get over to patreon.com slash the infinite cup. All of these links are right here in the description of this video or jump over to the infinite cup.com. All right. Until next time, guys, infinite love, infinite peace.